Hey, hey, hey. It's Chrissy Lulu. So, I've got a secret. I copy art. Now, it's not what you're thinking. I don't trace. I don't look at references and directly copy them. If you've seen my art recently, it's been a lot of copies. I have Draw This In Your Style, which is literally taking someone else's art, putting it in your own style. You're taking someone else's thing and then drawing it. I drew the new starters. Literally looked at the starters and I drew the starters. Very much in a Pokemon style. I took, I've been taking the Love Live Girls and then drawing the Love Live Girls. Um, and all of this requires reference. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about reference today and how to find good reference. So often, the best reference that you can find is going to be your original work. Chloe's being a turd still, I apologize. Um, so the original work. So if you are looking for something that is going to be a good reference, you're going to want to go to the source. So if what you are drawing happens to be a character from Naruto, you're probably going to want to go and look at Naruto from the manga, from the anime, from whatever, drawn by Masashi Kishimoto. That, that Naruto. You don't want to look at Ginger T's artistic interpretation of Naruto. Um, I don't want you guys using my art as a reference because I'm sure it's not the best reference to be using unless you're drawing my characters. Um, and that's just my own advice. Um, reference is some of the best stuff you're gonna find. Um, if you want to have like fun drawings, you gotta steal from references every once in a while. Um, now there's tons of places you can steal your stuff from. Google Images tends to be my favorite. Um, I like to go there, look for what I'm looking for, especially since I have started working on my comic now. Um, I have been looking up tons of references of things to draw. Like, oh, what does what do mailboxes look like? I need a reference for mailboxes. So I look, I, I search mailboxes and look for the kind of mailboxes I want. Um, or like, what, what the heck do a bedroom look like? What is in a bedroom? <laughs> How do you make a room not look atrocious? Um, because that has been a problem of mine in the past, is just not having enough going on in the space around. Which I think is a lot of people's problems and why people avoid backgrounds is because you actually gotta think about the space that a character is in. And if you want to work on backgrounds, I recommend 100% using references. If you want to put a character in a space, you should look at um, one point perspective, um, linear perspective, um, two point perspective. All of that stuff. You should at least know the basics before you kind of try to do it on your own. If you take any intro class, you are going to learn about perspective. You're going to learn about linear one point and two point. You're going to learn about all of that. So please, that is something you need to learn. If you're going to be learning how to draw a room, for example, you need to know that. Um, and of course, if you are going to be drawing someone's character, you're probably going to want to draw it a couple of times before you actually do the final drawing. Um, now I may be guilty in the sense that I don't do this <laughs> um, often. If I'm like, I'm going to draw this character, I'm going to look up stuff and then find what I'm looking for and then kind of draw it that way, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of the times, the reason why you're going to want to do this is like draw it a couple of times in your own work and stuff and kind of put your reference away so you're not directly copying what you're seeing because a lot of times if you're looking constantly at what you're copying your image might look pretty similar to the image you're looking at which is kind of 
I guess somewhat of the issue with my starter piece is they look... I mean, of course, I tried to change up their poses and everything, and I want to put them in my own style, but of course, they're very unfamiliar to me, so I had to keep looking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, another thing... Um, if you look at the piece I did of the Toga Fuka wedding, no, not Toga Fuka. Is it Toga Fuka? Yes, it is. Sorry. I shouldn't doubt myself, you know? Um, I did that. I think a lot of the times I can get the image of what I want to draw in my head, and then I just need to find the references. So that one was really just looking up references of the characters, and then looking up references of, like, weddings and stuff. And that's kind of how... I went about doing that image, and that image was a lot of fun, so <laughs> I recommend really trying to plan out images and stuff. Um, a lot of times what I do with images like that is I think of the pose, and I kind of get the body in, and I get the pose in, so I'm not looking at a reference. And then drawing the pose that they're in, for example, if that makes any sense. Um, um, I look at the image. And then, like, if I know the character, I'll probably think of a pose that I want them in that fits their personality, if that makes sense, for the image that is going to be in this video. The video playing behind you, it is Maki sitting royally on a chair um, because she is looking very royal and there was a chair in the background and I was like, let's just put Maki in this chair. Boom. It doesn't even need to be that deep. Um, <laughs> like, this image is not deep. I, it's just very simple, like, oh, this image I'm using as my reference has this in it. I'm going to use that. And then it's sometimes just kind of making up your own stuff. Um, if you don't, if you can't see something, you can emit it. Um, if you don't understand what something is, emit it. Um, if you're drawing more than the image has, you can just make up as you go. You can be like, oh, this reference image, you can't see their shoes. You never see their feet. You don't know what their feet look like. You can just make up what their shoes are. That's at least what I do. That's how I go about copying like a pro. Um, and yes, this is all very important to doing Art, I feel like reference is one of the most important things you can use unless you are planning on being like a cubist and just making the world really wacky and going really abstract, which <sighs> abstract is not my thing. So <laughs> I just go with my illustrative techniques, I call them, where I animeify things. I don't know. I'm just doing whatever. I'm drawing how I'm comfortable drawing. Um, you know, it's a very simplified style. For the most part. <laughs> okay, now we've got two pigs drinking. I apologize. Before, like, they get any louder, I'm gonna sign off. Um, but yeah, that's, that is how you go about copying. Um, you'll see a lot of images I do of other series and everything, I will have, I'll be searching up what I want and on my computer and then have that going so I can constantly look up and down from what I'm drawing to my reference and get it down. So if I'm like, oh, like this isn't working, what kind of color do I want to put here? It's really helpful for color matching. If you're trying to get someone's colors right, of course this may change depending on lighting and shadows and everything, but yeah, knowing what you're going for is sometimes one of the best things. Um, you can also look up stock images for poses, which I find very helpful, um, but yeah, I think I have already talked about stock images and such in another video and poses, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about it again, um, but yeah. I'm signing off. This is Chrissy Lulu. Um, please leave a like, leave a subscribe. Maybe you'll get to be rewarded with 
my pretty voice and more of my maybe pretty art. Well, <laughs> I hope. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you wanna wanna share your thoughts with me. So yeah, I'm signing off. I will see you in the next video. Bye.